when you did the course 15 years ago in the very first value system that was introduced to you in the course values I will live by to develop a powerful enlivening force it used to read on the 14th number in that card there is a line that goes like this I will analyze my experiences and improve myself by practicing introspection and while explaining introspection Maitreya used to explain to you saying that from today every day before you go to sleep the last thing you do right now must be watching TV those days that time mobile was not there the last thing you must be doing before going to sleep must be watching TV instead from now onwards 10 minutes before switch off the TV and run your entire day in your mind okay, I got up in the morning I set up a wake up call then I switched it off and went to sleep don't have to kill yourself don't have to crucify yourself just run through your day I did this so I did not obey the alarm call so though I was supposed to wake up at 6 o'clock, I woke up at 6.30 and then I went and uh, did I brush my teeth? Mm. I am not sure, I should have, okay. Then I came to have coffee and um, I had coffee, it was good. And uh, then I didn't have time, it was because I woke up late. So I took the breakfast and took the bike saying that in the office I'll go and have. While going there, one cyclist came in between and I scolded him with two bad words. He scolded me by with four bad words and I got moved out and with that I went to office. And because I was catching up by getting up late, I had to go to office seven minutes late. And hence I had to go to the manager's cabin to sign the whole thing and I had to either tell a sorry or tell a lie. Okay. Or I have to say sorry and go through the entire day. Don't hit yourself, don't kill yourself, don't do anything. Just run through your day. Most of you will not cross 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, but by then you would have done so much mistakes, you will go to sleep. You will go to sleep. But it's okay. Just Next day morning, get up. Apart from all the things that you do, just read the value card. There used to be six cards, six into fourteen. The whole thing will take about six to seven minutes for you to read. Just read the value card. End of the day. Only two things I'm expecting from you. Morning you'll read the cards and evening you will introspect. That's all. Nothing else I'm expecting from you. What will happen? Nothing will happen for a few days. But because three days in introspection you realized. I set up the wake up call for 6 but I woke up at 6.30. I set up the wake up call at 6 but I woke up at 6.45. I set up the wake up call at 6, I woke up at 7.15. Something beautiful will happen on the fourth day. You will set up the wake up call for 6.30. Because by now you will realize donkey should not expect to wake up at 6 o'clock. They can't. So I will wake up at 6.30. Because instead of setting a goal for yourself every morning where you fail, might as well set a goal where I begin by succeeding. So I might wake up call, and this is called awareness. Something within you has realized you are not capable of getting up at 6 o'clock. You are not ready there. Brahmamurth is this saint. Okay. Number donkey. Sainthood aspiration should not be there for donkey. No. Okay. You will realize you. Why should I begin the day on a failure? Why should I let myself down on the beginning of it? I have realized I am not capable of getting up. I met one infinity is by Jay Kumar once and I told him, hey, wait here, Gita. Diet can I? What is your diet? Breakfast now I have only seven idlis in Aramsa. Diet la only seven idlis. 
అప్పు బిఫోర్ డయట్ వాట్ యూ యూస్ టు డూ సమ్మ వదులు ఐ నవ్ యూస్ టు కౌంట్ అవడదా ఓకే నో దట్ స్వామీజీ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఓన్లీ టూ ఇడ్లీస్ ఈ స్వామీజీ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ దట్ సెవెన్ ఇడ్లీస్ ఇస్ మినిమం కెపాసిటీ ఎడ ఇరికే స్వామీజీకి ఎడ వల్ల నమ్మ ఇరికే called awareness you realize they can write something in a book he can teach something in infinity path but finally each one of us have to come to our own thresholds and reality and i am not designed for brahma muhurt and other things what is the next available muhurt okay brahma ud okay is there anybody else okay and the muhurt eda one introduce panna mudiyuma this is called awareness the third day when you are having coffee you will tell yourself every morning i am reading saying that i'll praise every improvement and i'll praise the slightest improvement and yet i have never appreciated my mother even once i have never missed criticizing when coffee is not good but i have never praised when in introspection only you are realizing this but somewhere in the third day or the fifth day or the seventh day when you are having your fourth sip of coffee when it comes from outside the voice dies when it comes from inside it doesn't die the inside will tell you appreciate pandra ma coffee is good you'll be going on the road cyclist will come he will scold two words he will scold four words it will happen in introspection by the time you have noticed this behavior of yours you are getting angry on the road you are getting filthy on the road you are getting ugly on the road and it's we don't know whether it's bothering that fellow or it's bothering you till you go to office that he scolded you by bad words is still lingering in you not in him the dirt is on me not in him some story you would have heard let panwala not decide how you behave some story german shepherd letting a pomeranian know that i have a standard of something that you have heard which is a mere redundant donkeyish knowledge in you introspection will bring relevance into that knowledge somewhere in introspection you will realize in that actually na vandu pomeranian meri than behave panna in this situation i was actually like a panwala only some realization will come and that cyclist will come in up oh anger will still form itself but it will not find expression it's called awareness there's no other way to develop there's only one way to develop by listening to this infinity path also awareness will not come but you can understand the power of introspection it will take about 10 minutes and you will go to office and somewhere matri would have already told you if every meeting of yours begins either with a lie or a sorry where is the psychological advantage in the meeting because if i have a meeting i want to have the psychological edge i want to have the upper hand if the meeting starts either with a lie where i have already let myself down or a sorry i have handed over the psychological advantage to the other person he is going to control the meeting i cannot control the meeting i don't mind somebody coming late and saying sorry or like he is handing over the edge to me i control the meeting but i don't want to lose this edge somewhere matre would have told you this you would have heard in infinity path in an individual interaction in htb in the class some story you would have heard but it's sitting there as a redundant knowledge it ha- lacks application what is happening to all of us is our knowledge is growing in a separate track our life is being lived in a separate track and if these two tracks have to be held together you need those wooden blocks which has to act as anchor fasteners they have to hold this and this block is introspection what turns that all the knowledge you read books ningala sadhana book on the bhagavad gita bible quran ella sollirukka you read all that you gain all this knowledge but it won't have application you're going on developing 
नॉलेज डज नॉट बिकम मेच्योरिटी विदाउट अवेयरनेस एंड अवेयरनेस के नॉट बी डेवलप्ड अनलेस यू प्रैक्टिस इंट्रोस्पेक्शन यू देर इज नो वे ऑन द गो यू के नॉट डेवलप अवेयरनेस यू नीड टू सिट असाइड एंड रन थ्रू योर एंटायर डे फॉर अ फ्यू मिनट्स समवेर टू मंथ्स लेटर थ्री मंथ्स लेटर वन डे यूल रियलाइज ऑन योर ओर नॉट बिकॉज माया थ्री एस एट not because you read in a book not because you heard an inspiring speech on your own one day you'll realize every meeting i wanted to start with me having a psychological advantage not the other having a psychological advantage so it will not begin with a lie and it will not begin with a sorry then in my mind i will not say i want to go to an office at 9:30 in my mind i'll say i want to go to an office at 9:15 because for me 9:30 is 9:45 so if i start deciding to go to office why why one day in the last minute you have to run every time you will have to run in the last minute apanna we should understand our limitations we should understand our weaknesses we should understand our shortcomings and i realize that somewhere in my planning i plan for 9:30 i am fighting 9:30 every day i'll plan for 9:15 11 minutes early 11 hearts beats less 11 years more life 10 minutes late because of that stress 10 heart beats more 10 years less life if one cinema i'm stressed by the watch everybody goes through this if every time i find myself running in the airport if every time i'm finding myself stressed in a traffic jam If every time I'm fighting the 9:30 to enter office, if every time to attend an infinity path, I'm running in the last five minutes, then something is not okay with me. Then I will have to understand. This is my limitation. There is no point in having utopian expectations from me. I need to have realistic expectations, and I have this limitation. Now I will have to play with the time. it's very clear i have an organization where i set a goal of 10 lakhs to be achieved to 10 people only two of them are achieving everybody else is ending up with 7 or 8 lakhs it did not happen in one quarter it did not happen in two quarter it's happening in every quarter i will have to understand so i have a team which will always fall short how do i solve this there's only one way to solve this the target for everybody is going to be 15 lakhs but in my mind i'm happy with 10 lakhs but the target for everybody is 15 lakhs everybody will fall short because we don't have an organization where everybody has got center we all have people in our organization who came by getting 70 marks and 80 marks so when 100 was expected they were happy with 70 and 80 so when 10 lakhs is a goal they will only achieve 7 or 8 this is how they are so if my center is not 100 anymore it's 150 how much will they get 110 120 So if my goal is from now onwards when I'm expecting 10 lakhs it's 15 lakhs and they all end up with 11 lakhs and 12 lakhs what happens for me as an organization everything takes 30% more time than you anticipate everything so what if i have estimated a project to take 12 months what ever be the project it can be software development it can be construction it can be interiors building your own house creating a painting what if i tell myself that it's i estimate it to be 12 months to the client i'll only promise 15 months because it's going to take 30% longer i'm going to only commit i'm not going to commit going to commit i'm going to commit only 15 months and to my team i'm going to say it has to be done in 9 months time i have a 6 months buffer here If I can finish it in nine months, great. Everybody is happy. If it take twelve months, I'm still on time. Why? Because I, I have. To, how will you understand this? Not because I'm teaching a concept. When you introspect, you will understand something about yourself. There's no other way. Fifteen minutes, I'm reading Bhagavad Gita. No question about it. Rest of the day, all the time speaking. So, how does fifteen minutes of being right? going to excuse me speaking 
lawyer tongue for the rest of the day. How will you correct yourself? Reading more Bhagavad Gita, nothing will happen. Introspection at the end of the day makes me realize. How do I overcome anger? There's no other way. You have to get angry. In introspection, you have to understand you got angry. You have to get angry. In introspection, you have to understand I got angry. You have to get angry. In introspection, you have to understand you get angry. You have to. And one day in introspection, you will realize, except losing my peace of mind, me getting BP, nothing changed. And I have to be with this wife, or I have to be with this husband, or I have to be with this son, or I have to be with this dog, or I have to be with the servant for another so many years. And for this behavior of theirs, if I keep getting angry, I keep getting angry, I keep getting angry. Donkey won't become a horse. But I will become a donkey. And at one day I understand the futility of my anger. What you are expecting me, is this the first time I am explaining introspection to Sri Kumar? No. You are thinking because I am explaining from tonight, Sri Kumar will practice introspection every day. And the very end of the one expectation, God is not going to die. I am not teaching this, explaining that the questioner, in fact, very rarely a questioner implements the answer that is given to the questioner. Growth is not taught, it's caught. Somebody else will start introspection now. It may not even be any one of this 111. Somebody who will watch this somewhere else or in the in the infinite path, the pirate pani na watch to pull Somebody out there in the world, knowledge won't go waste. Somebody out there in the world will start practicing introspection. Or somebody here who used to and gave it up because you feel you've already become Swamiji, might again get back to introspection. There's no other way to do it. So in that course, when it was explained, I mean, re-explaining the whole thing. One. By investing that about 10 minutes at the end of every day, just run through your head. You don't have to do anything. Just like an editor will watch that entire film strip, just run through your entire day with your awareness. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have to discuss with anybody. You don't have to do anything. Just run through your entire day. That's all. You will not complete the day. Most days you will go to sleep. It's okay. Sleep off. If you are failing anywhere else, you will come to know by practicing introspection. If introspection itself, you don't practice. Then you won't even know where you are failing, then nothing will help. So those days I used to say, even if you don't do anything else from what I teach, do three things. Read the cards, meditate, introspect. And this is going to give you more growth and transformation than everything else. Why? One. One of these days when you do introspection, you will realize between 10 to 1 what happened, you don't remember. You don't remember. You would have gone through the whole thing, but you won't remember what happened. But what I had for breakfast? What I had for breakfast? What? What I had for breakfast today? You won't remember. The beauty is, in introspection you will realize you are not even aware of what you did today. That's all. The beauty of this will come next day. You will do everything awarefully. Because you will feel end of the day, I cannot have a blackout from 10 to 1. And as a result, it will make you live your day awarefully. First. Two. There will be self-criticism in introspection. Here you let yourself down. You set up the wake up. If somebody tells you every day you want to get up at 6 o'clock, but you are not getting up at 6.30, what is the use? Why do you set up? Your ego will want to justify and argue. When your because there is no ego between you and you. Any feedback from outside, your ego will come in between. But when there is self-criticism, you are not ego involved with anybody. You are telling yourself, you let yourself down. So the ease with which you will correct yourself will be phenomenal. You don't have to accumulate dirt in relationships, which you will if the outside is trying to correct you. Three. Self-appreciation will come in. The most beautiful moment 
in introspection is not any of these. So that day you realized. I set up the wake up call at 6, but uh, I woke up at 6.30. I set up the wake up call at 6, I woke up at 6.30. Third day, I woke up. So. So fourth day, one of the two is going to happen. Either you'll wake up or you'll set the wake up call at 6.30. So you've decided, I'm going the easy way, your way. So you shifted the wake up call to 6.32. Okay. So you set the wake up call to 6.32. And 6.32 it woke up, it rang and you woke up. In fact, you woke up at 6.25 itself and realized it's not at 6.32. So, tonight when you do introspection. So, I set up the wake up call at 6.30 and I actually woke up. You will smile. Ayyo, and the smile is Bharat Ratna. Because this is self-appreciation. Somebody else is not appreciating you from outside. Then that cyclist came in between, I did not use bad words, you'll smile. I walked into the office at 9.25, my boss came behind me, you'll smile. These smiles are called self-appreciation. And as introspection grows you in self-appreciation, this craving to be appreciated by outside will start coming down. Right now we are all beggars. We do amazing things in life, but we want to be appreciated by the world outside. We want it to be recognized. So it turns us into beggars. The only reason you are craving for appreciation from the world outside is there is not enough self-appreciation in your life. Introspection will bring self-appreciation into your life. Introspection will give life to your inner voice. And in turn, your inner voice will give life to you. There is this inner voice within you which is very dormant. You are not hearing it. It's telling you all the time, don't do like this, do this, don't choose this, choose that. It's telling you all the time, but it's too soft right now. By just practicing introspection, this inner voice will get louder and stronger, louder and stronger. In fact, Matri, I used to say in every batch when he used to teach this, introspection will discover a guru within you and you will have to stop searching for a guru outside you. You don't need one outside. You were created to find this guru within you. And the only way to find that is through introspection. Introspection will give you an inner voice. And your inner voice in turn will give you a life. Introspection will remove your incomplete cycles. Because in my introspection, I realized I had to meet that person, but last minute I cancelled it. Okay, I'll meet him tomorrow. You release these incomplete cycles. And the number of incomplete cycles that gets released through introspection, that many dreams will come down in your sleep. The quality of your deep sleep goes up. Compared to a 2 mg sleeping pill that you take, and introspection at the end of every day will give you the same quality of sleep because the sort of mental quietude it creates in you, even a sedative cannot create in you. And the greatest beneficiary is from being aware for 10 minutes at the end of every day. And I used to ask everybody, just do it for two years time. And in two years time, you will not be aware at the end of every day. You will be aware through the day. And when awareness happens at the end of the day, it's called awareness. When awareness happens in the present continuous, it's called consciousness. You will start living your life consciously. And when you start living your life consciously, in consciousness, everything life negative shrinks and everything life positive expands. Just by living your life consciously, you will find everything negative in your life begins to shrink and everything positive in your life begins to grow. And all these benefits will be yours. All I am asking from you is 10 minutes at the end of every day. Close your eyes and run through it. Don't lie down and practice. By 6.30 you will go to sleep in the morning. By the time you do. Because... You have to sit and practice. If you don't sit and practice, you lie down and practice introspection. Not even once you will complete any of the days. Sit and practice. It takes about 10 minutes to run through your entire day. And simply go to sleep. In one day in these two years, 
you will give to yourself one of the most beautiful days in your entire life and that day write an email to me i used to tell people every morning if you write an email after 3 months you also will not have anything to write and i also won't look forward to reading it so i used to tell people one of these days in 2 years something very beautiful will happen in your life and when that happens i want you to write an email to me you will run through your entire day and you will feel i got everything right today not because you read the scriptures not because you did htv not because you are regular to infini path because you practice introspection at the end of every day and one of those days you will only be smiling through the introspection i got it right i got it ko vandu da na kanchikla so first i thought i won't do it when i said why am i postponing i did it that time you will only keep smiling okay you will be romancing yourself and you'll reach the end of the day and you'll realize no correction was needed today and just to know how it feels one day in introspection you felt you went through your entire day and no correction was needed is worth living for that day there's no difference between you and buddha both of you are the same you actually feel like a buddha in that moment then you don't have to read a book called siddhartha you feel like a siddhartha in those moments and that day you should write to me and that is one day i feel proud that i was your teacher not when you come and introduce yourself as a donkey but that day when i read that mail and i know that you went through an entire day that you saw the cake and you served it to everybody and not when having the second piece that day when i know that you admired so many other things about krishna other than butter and that day you make me feel so proud that was worth investing my life on you i want you to take a few minutes on introspection I think i've reintroduced a very 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 powerful tool to you and there's no point in receiving the tool and not using it I'll stand apart from myself. And analyze my experiences by practicing introspection at the end of every day. I'll stand apart from myself and analyze my experiences by practicing introspection at the end of every day.